most people looking back on old Doctor Who are going to remember the one with the scarf, frankly. And uh, there's quite a few of his that are very special. Douglas Adams, Unbuild, wrote uh, The City of Death, which is wonderful. Um, just a, a very, very funny script, but also beautifully plotted. Really cleverly plotted. Tight as a drum. God, that sort of blackmail won't work, because I know what the consequences would be if you get what you wanted. I can't let you fool about with time. What else do you ever do? Ah, oh, well, I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. I also know what you're doing, Romana. Put the equipment down. Doctor, it's all right. He just wants to get back to his spaceship and reunite himself. I think the Ark in Space sort of sums all of Doctor Who up. It's actually a quite, quite brilliant movie-sized script. Superlative piece of writing. Um, very good guest stars. Tom Baker right at the start of uh, his run as the Doctor, but already completely in charge of the role. He was so focused, so good in that part. Um, and at the same time, you know, the monster is a bit shoddy. But somehow it doesn't matter because the storytelling is really strong. You're improving, Harry. Am I really? Yes, your mind is beginning to work. <laughs> it's entirely due to my influence, of course. You mustn't take any credit. Now, what's missing? Is it? Yes. If we're to assume that some great cataclysm struck Earth, and that before the end they launch this lifeboat, then the one obvious missing element is man himself. What's happened to the human species, Harry? And yes, it is a bit overlit, and you are sort of thinking, that could be nothing except a set. But if you are willing to take those hits, uh, you are watching a glorious story, a really, really well-told story. Other things that are charming and delightful are the Talons of Wing Chiang is a very, very witty script. Most Doctor Who fans will warn you uh, that there's a terribly un uh, unconvincing giant rat. They're sort of wrong. What there is is there's a very, very, very funny giant rat. And the whole thing is a straightforward, in-your-face, absurdist comedy. Ten feet from Whiskers to Tail. We should have taken weapons. What kind of weapons? You need a harpoon to stop that brute. Shall we tell the Blue Guards? They only call a sanitary inspector. It's a guard. It's there to keep people away. What? Now where are we going? It is not meant to be taken seriously. It is a full-on comedy and hooray for the rat. <laughs>